Hi, I'm Alison from Sweet Mistress Jamaica, and today we'll be making an eggnog cake, which is perfect for your Christmas celebration. The ingredients we'll be using today is three cups of flour, three tablespoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of nutmeg, half teaspoon of cinnamon, one cup of unsalted butter, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of ground sugar, four eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one and a half cups of eggnog. All right, so for our first step, we're gonna cream our butter and sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and add the, the butter. And we're adding the brown sugar and then the granulated sugar. So we're gonna beat this on high for about five minutes until it's light and fluffy. So we've been mixing for about two and a half minutes. We're gonna scrape the bowl and then continue mixing. So we're looking for a light and creamy consistency. It won't look as yellow. All right, so continue mixing. All right, so we've been mixing for about five minutes. Our butter and sugar is a nice and creamy consistency. Here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and now we're gonna combine our dry ingredients. All right, so we're gonna combine the flour, baking powder, salt, nutmeg and cinnamon. We're adding the baking powder, we're adding the salt, we're adding the nutmeg and cinnamon. I will just mix it slightly until it's combined. All right, so now that's combined, we're gonna go ahead and add the eggs to the butter and sugar mixture. All right, so we're gonna add our four eggs now and we're gonna fully incorporate each egg after adding them. So we're adding the first egg now. And we're gonna mix it until the egg is fully incorporated. Not too long, but until you're not seeing the egg anymore. And then we'll add the next egg. So we've finished combining the eggs with the butter and sugar mix. We're gonna add the vanilla and mix it for a little bit longer and then we'll add our dry and wet ingredients. All right, so now that's through, we're gonna add the dry and wet ingredients. We're gonna alternate between the dry and then wet finishing with dry. So we'll add three parts of dry and two parts of wet. So while we let our cakes cool, we're gonna go ahead and make our cream cheese frosting. This will need four cups of powdered sugar, half cup of unsalted butter, eight ounces of cream cheese, and two teaspoons of vanilla. So we're gonna go ahead and add the cream cheese and the butter to the mixer and mix until combined. And 
and we're gonna mix on high. All right, so now that the cream cheese and butter is combined, we're gonna add the two teaspoons of vanilla and the powdered sugar. Now that we have it in there, we're gonna mix until light and creamy. So now that our frosting is finished and our cakes are cool, we're gonna go ahead and start decorating. So what I did was I cut off the top off of one of the cakes and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the other one. This is just so that you have a level cake surface to work with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the cake out of the baking tin. cut off the top. Not too much, just to get rid of the hump. All right, so I like to put a little frosting on the cake board so that the cake doesn't move when we're moving it to the fridge. All right, so now we're gonna put some cream, fr cream cheese frosting in the middle. And now we're gonna put the other layer on top. Now we'll finish casting the cake. The design I'm showing you, your style is called a naked cake. It's very popular right now. Um, so you actually have some of the cake showing through on any, it's like a shabby chic kind of design. And it doesn't need any real skill. Just gotta get the frosting on there. Now that's finished, I'll just clean off the cake board and we'll chill it for about 30 to 45 minutes and then it's ready to be served. And there you have it, a delicious eggnog cake with cream cheese frosting. Happy holidays from Sweet Mischief and PBCJ.